Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammack from the Marble Drawer channel, and in today's video I'll show you how I change the playback speed for videos on my iPhone using the app Speed Up TV. So I'm kind of an impatient person, it's not a great character trait, but nothing makes me crazier than having to listen to lectures or videos when the speaker is an extreme slow talker. Nothing against these people at all. Lecturing takes concentration and deep thought, but having the ability to alter the playback speed on videos and audio files is a total game changer for me. So I did a video already on how to adjust the playback speed for some of my most used apps, Stitcher, Audible, and YouTube. But what about other videos that I have on my iPhone? Is there a way to change the playback speed for those? So there are two ways that I generally have videos on my iPhone, either on my camera roll or through Google Drive. If someone sends me a video through email or text, I can save it to my camera roll and view it there. Um, you can see that there are extremely limited controls for playing back the video. No fast forward or backward and definitely no way to change the speed, which is kind of an advanced feature. If I have a big video, I tend to transfer it to my phone using Google Drive. I can upload it to Google Drive on my PC and then access it from my iPad or iPhone. I have a video on downloading videos for offline viewing if you are interested in that. So here is the interface for viewing videos through Google Drive. Again, extremely limited playback controls for this viewing interface. So obviously if I'm just listening to like a 20 minute TED talk, I can bite the bullet and listen to it at normal speed. But if I'm listening to an hour and a half long lecture from professors who take slow talking to a new level, I will go absolutely nuts. So I paid the $5 for an app called Speed Up TV. So Speed Up TV is an iOS app that provides a much more robust playback interface for videos on your iPhone or your iPad. Just poke the center of the app and you can see how many more controls are available to you. The first question is how you've pulled the videos into your app. If your videos are stored in your camera roll, you can just go straight into the Speed Up TV app, choose photo album, and your video should come right up to pull into the app. If your video is in Google Drive, you'll need to go into the Google Drive app, find the video, hit the three dots, and choose open in. If Speed Up TV doesn't come up as an option right away, you can scroll over to the more button and just make sure that that's turned on in options. Just be aware that it actually exports your video so that an entire copy of the video now lives inside the Speed Up TV app. So I tend to delete things right after I watch them so they don't take a bunch of space up on my iPhone. So there's apparently also an option to transfer files directly using a PC for over Wi-Fi, but I haven't tried this one out yet. So this isn't really a tutorial for the Speed Up TV app, but suffice it to say, it does a lot more than allow you to speed up or slow down your videos. You can create a playlist and turn on replay or shuffle. You can go backward or forward, frame by frame, and you can do quick form, form forwarding and rewinding. Changing playback speed is done in one of two ways as far as I can tell. You can swipe up or down in the middle of the screen to quickly change the speed, but the more detailed options are on the second screen of the controls at the bottom. So based on the name of the app, I'm not entirely sure why they decided to put the speed controls on the second control screen, but whatever. <laughs> swipe left at the bottom to get to the second screen and adjust the speed to your heart's content. And that's it. If time is money, this app has more than paid for itself after 12 hours of lectures this summer listened to at one and a half speed. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.